The Abrahamic Covenant. What is it? Why do we need it? And what does it have to do with you? Well, to answer those questions, we have to go back about 2,000 years before Abraham was born to the very first people on earth. You see, Adam was actually the very first in a long line of prophets to make a covenant with God that would later be known as the Abrahamic Covenant. And what was this covenant? In the simplest terms, it was God's promise to His children that He would provide a way for them to be exalted with Him. In latter days, these blessings and promises are happening in baptismal fonts and temples as God's children make covenants with Him. But wait, let's back up a minute. If God made this covenant with Adam and then other prophets like Noah, Enoch, Moses, and more, why is it called the Abrahamic Covenant? Well, when God made this same covenant with Abraham, He added some special promises to it. These promises can be thought of as the three Ps. Posterity. Abraham was promised that anyone who made covenants with God would be considered part of his family. Priesthood. The blessings of the priesthood would be spread to all the earth through Abraham's family. And promised land. Abraham would receive an inheritance of special land. Posterity, priesthood, and a promised land? That sounds great for Abraham, but what does it have to do with you? A whole lot. The three Ps are promised to you as well. You are promised that if you're faithful to your covenants, you can have eternal posterity. You're also promised that as part of Abraham's family, you have access to the blessings of the priesthood and get to spread those blessings to others. Last of all, you're promised that if you stay faithful, you'll be able to enjoy your own eternal promised land, a place with God in the celestial kingdom. But wait, there's more. Your covenant blesses you with a fourth P, God's persistent grace. Let's talk more about this because it's really, really important. Once you enter into a covenant with God, He has hesed for you. What in the world is hesed? In the scriptures, the Hebrew word hesed is often interpreted as loving kindness or mercy, but it means so much more. What it really means is covenantal love and mercy. That means God has a special degree of love and mercy for those who enter into covenants with Him. Now, of course, God loves all His children. But once you make a covenant with Him, once you dedicate yourself to Him, it's almost like a marriage. The two of you have a special bond that is different than the relationship those outside of the covenant have with Him. Dr. Carrie Muelstein described it this way, That is a kind of love and mercy only available to those who are in a covenant with God. And what it means is He will never, ever stop working with you and never give up on you. So. How does God's hesed benefit you? Let's learn from the story of the Israelites. When they left Egypt, the Israelites made covenants with God. However, they didn't do a good job of keeping their part of the covenant. They worshiped a golden idol, criticized God's prophet, lacked faith, and they disobeyed God. But no matter what they did, God continued to work with them, helping them come back to Him over and over and over again. Why would He do that? Because of His covenant promise to help them return home to Him. Because of His persistent grace. God had hesed for the Israelites. Now, what does that mean for you? That means that if you mess up, if you break a commandment, if you get lazy and don't live the gospel fully, or even if you turn away completely from God. It will hurt God that you've broken your end of the covenant, but He will not break His end. His grace is persistent. It will take work for you to change, but God will help you every step of the way. That is why the Abrahamic covenant is so important for you and me. It's the promise of posterity. It's the promise of priesthood. It's the promise of a future promised land, and it's the hope that with God's persistent grace, we will one day become like Him. Subscribe and follow Kristen Walker-Smith on Instagram and on YouTube for more Scripture Insights.